be respectful today. If someone's up here talking, the crowd's not talking. If you're what? talking, I'm going to ask you to leave nicely. <laughs> Y'all understand that? Oh, yeah! Y'all help me keep the quiet. <laughs> Would you take just a moment to uncover? Let's just bow before the Lord. A moment of silence. Father, I thank you for your care and your love for all those that are assembled here today and all those that are on the way. God, I pray that you just continue to let your peace flow through the whole motorcycle community. Help us continue to join together. Help us, Lord, to continue to serve you the way we should. God, I pray that you just bless this gathering today. I ask it in Jesus' name. And all God's people say, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Me, you want to come up and do road? We know it's hot. We're going to get to this as fast as we can, but we do got a few things to say.
people are scared to let us meet now. We have done nothing wrong, but we are persecuted everywhere we go right this minute. You see this table? This is for the people that should be here that can't be here. They're here and they're not forgotten. They wasn't on our roll call because they won't let them be here. That's not right. Because they say we carry weapons. Do you have your weapons on you? I do. I brought my weapons today. I have my Bible and I have my Constitution. I have my weapons. I'm not playing anymore. You guys that know me have known me for years. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm upset. I had to go see a doctor. First time in my life, I'm on something to keep me calm. Me calm. I'm too much for my family to handle right now. I'm so upset. This sucks. We have brothers, we have sisters that were persecuted for being there to fight for their rights. We did nothing wrong. Do not reach in your pocket and fall for these fucking lawyers' bullshit about give me 10 grand, I'm going to make sure you're okay. And if you don't go to court, that's all it's going to cost you. It ain't costing you a fucking dime. You did nothing wrong. Don't give them lawyers nothing. We paid to get you out of jail. That's it. It should go away. For 85% of the people, it should go away. The rest of them will fight for them when it's time. We did nothing wrong. We were attacked. The police. Don't get me started. They knew there was a problem potential. How many of y'all got a phone call and warned y'all about it? Who warned, who, who warned y'all that there's going to be a problem? Why did they not call us and warn us? Why did they not stop them guys when they come in? I've got a lot of questions for them. The way this is going to go down, they're hurting. They fucked up. Yeah. Their investigation sucks. The police panicked. It might have been a fight between two, this, that, but they panicked. They went crazy. They've got a lot of answering to do. Whether they're right or wrong, the God upstairs knows, and they know in their hearts. Whether the judicial system finds them guilty and makes them pay for what they've done, I can't guarantee that to happen. Because this, I've seen things in the last two months that I thought I'd never see as an American citizen. Arrested for pulling in a parking lot. What's going on? You're under arrest. Where is that right? Being a bandito, I've seen some terrible things in the last two months. Do you know if you're a bandito, you have no fucking rights? Just because you wear this patch? I have no rights. If I go to Waco, Texas on my motorcycle, I will be arrested for a terroristic threat. I was told that. Bullshit. I have been to Waco, Texas in a suit and tie with my hair back with the lawyers. They didn't even know who the fuck I was. <laughs> That's how fucking fucked up they are up there. They spend a lot of money, people. These monitors, these people on non-association, I feel very sorry for him. Our own dear one wire, Paul. Our right hand, Paul. They can't come around us. You citizens, you guys in, in uh, Soldiers for Jesus, you can talk to them. Call them. They're looking for friends to reach out to them. If you're in a motorcycle club and you're not a 501C, uh, you cannot talk to them. Do not call them. But they're looking for reaching out. They're looking for answers. We're all looking for answers. There is no answers right now. Right now, everybody needs to hold steady. We've done spent as much money as we want to on the lawyers. Got them out there. We know what's going on. We're on top of our game. It's time for them to get their game together. Let's fight this. Enough said about Waco. It's fucked up. It's going to stay fucked up. Region 1, they've asked us every month. Why can't y'all come and travel? Why do we always have to go to Austin? Well, that's why. We can guarantee you safety here. We don't have that bullshit here. The police department here is not going to come here and gather up against us. How many cops you see?
honesty out in the parking lot. We have respect. We do not like police officers in general, but we have respect. We're not ignorant. And if you are, you're in the wrong crowd, because this is a very, very respectful crowd. We respect everybody, no matter what you do or what you are. That shit went out years ago. What we're going to do now is we're going to gear up. All they did was piss us off. We're going to gear up. We're going to fight. Our Senate bill, they say we're not doing nothing. Our bill went through while we were fit, sitting there fighting in court. 574 passed. Our yeah. more you want to get into. Look at our fucking helmet bill. 1967. We wrote the language. Don't tell me we're not fucking doing our job. Don't tell me we're a bunch of thugs out here starting trouble and looking to go up there and police the area. I don't give a fuck about that Texas rocker. And I'm a bandit. Every fucking cop club out there has got it on. I'm not going to die or put my people in jeopardy over it. If I thought there was a problem, I'd have had 500, 600 bandits sitting there and we'd have just fucked heads and there'd been no problem. We didn't expect a problem. That was shame on them for not treating us like American citizens and telling us there was a problem. Shame on them letting it get where it did before they reacted. Shame on them putting a bunch of rookies out there with automatic fire and going crazy. Shame on them not being professional enough not to panic. Shame on us for putting people like that in power. It's time we fix it. Because it's shame on us. We're the ones that let the government do what they're doing. Our generation sit back, I'm not spanking my child. Come here, Moon Cricket. Whatever. <laughs> Our parents were too thick, strict on us, so we went fucking the opposite way. Look what we're paying now. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I should have listened more. Should have beat the shit out of my child. Fuck CPS! <laughs> Persecuted when I go down the road now. I'm going down I 35 and grandmas are locking their door. You think I'm gonna jump off my bike and attack you? I paid 25 grand for this bike. We're not criminals, we're bikers. We didn't do Waco, they did. The people of Waco, Central Texas, has been asking us for six months. Why can't we have a meeting there? They're getting persecuted everywhere they can. That little motorcycle club's coming up here with us or nobody. No CLC up here. All we did was try to have a CLC and give them a little bit of the rights they deserve. And we were attacked. We're standing strong. What they've done is they poked a giant. They woke us up. The COC across the nation is stronger now than it's ever been. We are standing firm. Every motorcycle club out there except for the one is standing with us. We had every one